The Senate has passed the harmonized version of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. The version passed by the lawmakers during plenary is the final one agreed between the Senate and House of Representatives on the amendment to Clause 84 of the bill. The Senate President, Ahmed Lawan, who presided over the plenary, stated that both chambers have agreed to give a clear and sufficient definition for each mode of primaries and how they should be conducted. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives added consensus as another option for nomination uh, open to political parties while electing candidates for political offices in the Electoral Act Amendment Bill 2021. This was announced by the Speaker, Honorable Femi Bajabiamila, at plenary after lawmakers reconvened from an executive session to fashion out ways out of the controversy surrounding the Electoral Act Bill. Chairman House Committee on Media and Public Affairs, Honorable Benjamin Kalu, said the lower chamber decided to concur with the upper to ensure harmony, though the president never asked for it in its letter to both chambers. Where a political party is unable to secure the written consent of all aspirants for the purpose of a consensus candidate, it shall revert to the choice of direct or indirect primaries for the nomination of candidates for the aforesaid elective position. Carried. C. A special convention or nomination congress shall be held to ratify the choice of consensus candidates at designated centers at the national, state, senatorial, federal, and state constituencies as the case may be. Gary? That a political party that adopts a consensus candidate shall secure the written consent, emphasis on the written consent of all clear aspirants for the position, indicating their voluntary withdrawal from the race and their endorsement of the consensus candidate. And it went on to say in B, where a political party is unable to secure the written consent of all clear aspirants for the purpose of a consensus candidate, it shall revert to the choice of direct or indirect primaries for the nomination of candidates for the aforesaid elective position. And even after doing that, there is still another option that is um, another condition that is found in sub 3, which is paragraph uh, C, that says a special convention or nomination congress shall be held to ratify the choice of consensus candidate at designated centers at the national, state, senatorial, federal, and state constituencies. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.